So, I'm going to, uh, I was thinking about sticking a generator coil on it. I have a feeling that <clears throat> maybe if I let it spin up, then then not only let the battery recover, but then, uh, since this has such good, almost near frictionless spin, you know, I can load it down with a generator coil, you know, over here, which will load that down real good. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> but the, the weight of this will help overcome that and maybe give this battery uh, just a little bit of an extra charge. <sighs> um, let's see here. So I just wanted to, I'm just going to start this up and just let it run just for a couple of seconds. And see, you know, watch the battery and then just sit here and watch it run down. <clears throat> Barely running it from the battery but I wanted to catch that before I went and uh I wanted to tear that black piece of tape off so I can uh see maybe if the you know I should see the, the the spark from the high voltage spikes in there because I don't know why that goes up you know when I first start it and, and there's absolutely you know no the return wire it's it's not even going back to the battery it's Let's see here. This is the return wire here. It's just it's not just that one. It's it's not it's not even going back. So I can't understand or figure out why you know the voltage would even be going up in any way at all. Well, that pure voltage that we're seeing that apparently doesn't have too much current. It might actually be helping. That might be what's you know helping recover this battery um, so well. If I look at that just a little bit longer. I mean, that's pretty much exactly what it was doing when I first found this battery. Doing that exact thing, bouncing between 72 and 73. Uh, so it just it recovered exactly what it lost. And I ran this you seen it. <clears throat> I ran it for quite a while. So I'm going to do that one more time. Do that one more time. And uh, I don't have to spin this up, but it's because I don't have the, the coil, you know. So just get it going. Actually, looks like this tape might be... Yeah. I don't remember that being there. Um, put this down a little more. Okay, now go. All right, here we go. And uh, actually, we'll watch the uh, voltage as I turn it on right here. Voltage is going up like it always does. You can probably hear it, hear the motor it's getting faster. So it gets to about 12.80, 81, 80, 81, 82, 83. Probably get about 12.90. No? Okay, so let's run it for. Get it up to speed. And I'm going to just disconnect it. And you see how well that store is at. <coughs> and then it dropped, of course. But <coughs> we'll see how quickly it can recover. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. what this high voltage spike there sitting on the battery or uh, sitting on top of the battery it's probably a better way to say that see now just imagine just imagine you know as this battery is recovering 
and we still have the energy stored here and then just converting it over with another coil right here and then just kind of like loading down the rotor uh, completely to where it just stops it completely and get all the energy energy we possibly can back into this battery I was thinking about doing that but I'm gonna watch this battery a little bit so just all I did was I get it got it up to speed and then uh, just disconnected it so right now it's just not this it's not connected to anything so not connected to anything at all at all just this one side going back to positive but the negative is disconnected right here through the switch over here back to the negative all right so see look at that the battery's already recovering there and it hasn't even been off that long so this this is pretty pretty good for finding a free dead battery free electricity from the alley <laughs> okay so that's still uh, it's running down but it's still running pretty much from the energy transferred from the battery now I know I keep showing the same thing over and over probably but these are just the basic concepts and, uh, geez, that could probably take another 5-10 minutes to run down. I don't know. But the main thing is this battery voltage uh, recovering. So, uh, this is the second day now. And, um, you know, and the battery, you know, this morning uh, I woke up and I looked at it and it, it was fully recovered right exactly back where it started i'm thinking maybe maybe that high voltage spike that i keep seeing which i just don't understand why it's there uh it just maybe maybe the the, the rotor is you know generating back into the motor coil and then the reed switch is like maybe clipping it off or maybe even the switch, there's some switch bounce inside of there or something that's causing some extra, like, chopping of the current and switching it faster at a higher frequency. I don't know. Well, I'm going to take that black tape off, and uh, but I just wanted to do this before I did that and tore it all up just, just to take that off. I should have never put that on there. But, uh, so maybe I can see what's going on with that uh, blue energy that should be inside of that reed switch. So that's running down, of course. But this this is the main thing I wanted to get and look at and study a little bit. But this, this is recovering pretty good. But that's all I'm going to do for right now. So, uh... So now we're going to, next we're going to, next video we're going to just take that black tape off and try to see what, where exactly the, uh, that high voltage spike is going from the uh, collapsing magnetic field, or the output that shoots out of this coil. And that's it, so I'll see you on the next video, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're a new new viewer and um thanks for watching see you on the next video